Bonjour à tous. And today we are going to see about the letter and written comprehension and redactio. Redactio means an essay, which is based on your first lesson. So before that, we will recall once our previous video. So what is the previous video content? One is presente vous or presente calque. So how to present yourself in French? See for example, je m'appelle your name and she dash uh, and your age and j'habite a uh, Pondicherry and just please write your nationality like Andean and jam I like jam like uh, jam danse or jam chante it means I like to dance or like to sing like that and next uh, presente calque presente calque means what uh, introduce someone so how to introduce someone let's see the example so Nadina Giron so we have seen the previous video so I'll suppose Nadina Giron and Ali Canadian and uh, Ali comedian and Alabita Pari and Al a uh, she is a uh, 30 years old and second content is les articles les articles can be classified into two one is definite article les articles defini that is le la le l apostrophe le it is used for the masculine singular and la it is used for the feminine singular and le it is used for the masculine and feminine plural and l apostrophe it is the noun begins with vowel and next Les article and defini indefinite article. So, what are the indefinite article? Am, when, and they. It means so, a or an. So, an is used for the masculine, and when it is used for the feminine, and they it is used for the both gender that is masculine as well as feminine. So, this is the second content, and third is pronoun sujet and pronoun tonic. Pronoun sujet means that is a subject pronoun. What are the subject pronoun? Je, tu, il, al, nu, vu, il, al. And what are the pronoun tonic? Pronoun tonic, moi, toi, lui, al, nu, vu, o, al. So these are the pronoun tonic. And next, le nombre, that is number, that is fourth content. And fifth is le verb conjugation in present tense. The verb can be uh, the group can be classified into three types one is er group ir and re what is the endings for the er e es e o n s e z e n t e n t and for the ir is is i t i t i s s o n s i s s e z i s s e n t i s s e n t and third is re group and for the irregular also which is based on this group that is third group so what is the endings for the RE? S, S, add nothing, O, N, S, E, Z, A, and T, E, and T. So this is all about our previous video. Let's see the today's video. It's uh, based on the letter, written comprehension, and the essay. So content is la lettre, that is letter writing. And la comprehension agree, it's a written comprehension. And third is the redaxio. Redaxio means that is essay. And first, la latra. La latra means what is the meaning of the latra or what is the definition for the latra? So, a letter is a written message, it is one of the communication and that can be handwritten or printed on paper. And any such message that is transferred via post in your letter and the written conversation between the two parties one is sender and another one is receiver and letter can be classified into two types of letter one is formal letter and another one is informal letter what is mean by formal letter formal letter are written for an official or professional communication so usually used for the third person it's like a formal conversation and second what is mean by informal letter informal letter means uh, it refers to the friendly letter or uh, it is usually written for the friends or uh, relatives 
so that is a informal letter this is the difference between the formal and informal letter so how to write the letter some set of rules are there let's see the rules first one a letter a definition for the letter a written or typed or printed communication sent in an envelope by a post or messenger and some set of rules when you are writing the letters and all so first one is place date and day so first you have to write the place where you are writing from and next the date so when you are writing the letter that date you have to write and second is greeting or salutation for the french letter so what is meant by greeting a polite word that is or sign of welcome so an action of uh, giving a sign of welcome that is the meaning of greeting or salutation so what are the greetings in french cher monsieur it means a dear sir and cher monsieur dear mr name of that person write the name of that person and next cher madam dear ma'am and cher madam plus right of the name of the person so you know the person very well sorry this is used for the informal letter so if you know the person you can use the greetings and all and next monsieur monsieur means what uh, sir and monsieur plus name of the person and madam is mrs and mademoiselle is miss so you don't know the person so you can use the greetings and all it is used for the formal letter so on third purpose of the letter so which is based on your topic of the letter you can use the purpose of the letter and fourth is a purpose of the letter means is to convey a message uh it's like a emotion so whatever it is which is based on your uh, letter writing topic and fourth is a opening paragraph opening paragraph is uh, it's all about how are you like that and all and the meat of your letter what is the meaning of meat of your letter so why you are writing a letter that is the meaning of meat of a letter and closing paragraph closing paragraph your topic sentence uh, should summarize what you said in the letter or statement that is called what closing paragraph and closing expression what is the closing expression some closing expressions are there when you are writing a letter so cordial mo cordially bien a vous yours truly and salutation distingue sincerely so this you can use for the informal formal letter only and next a bientôt see you soon bien michel mo sincerely in friendship and next cordial mo a vous it's cordially yours so this three expression you can use for the informal letter and the eighth one is your signature so last your signature or your write your name and ninth one is address on the envelope so this is all about the letter writing so let's see the letter once so ecrivez win latre a votre ami a louis decrivon win sore so write a letter to your friends so you have to describe a soiree soiree it's a evening party so first one you have to find whether the letter is formal or informal letter so it's a le this letter is uh, you have to write to your friend only you know so that is a informal letter only so first is place and date that is chennai and date is le de mars 2020 that is the meal van that is second march 2020 and salutation marshal ami it's my dear friend and purpose of the letter what is the purpose of the letter let's see comme ça va jacri la latre pour parler bien soirée it means what how it's going and i write the letter to talk about an evening party and c'est ma première visite au monde et je rencontre anita and this is my first visit to india and i met anita and i'll parle très bien français and she speak very well in french and next so just visa 
Harris, the Lord Rome country. So I am very happy to meet her. And next, my cousin Vivek, my present day as a Zami. And my cousin Vivek introduced me to this friend. And next, ladies and gentlemen, chanton et dansons bien. The Indians are sings and dance very well. And j'aime beaucoup Londres. And I really like India. And next, j'aime bien bien ici. And I am having a lot of fun. here so this is all about uh your letter that is purpose of the letter and closing this also closing paragraph and affectives more affectives more it's uh, affectionately that's one of the closing expression and write your name that means sign and these are the address on the envelope letter of your envelope it means address on the envelope so write your name and uh, number of the house and the street and the city and the code number also so this is all about the uh, first lesson letter writing which is based on your first lesson topic only so let's see the verb what are the verbs here they we used so first one is ecrire ecrire means to write at to be rencontre to meet parler to speak chanter to sing aimer to like s'amuser to have fun and danser to dance so this is all the verb which we used in this letter and that is all about the letter let's move to the second content is la comprehension écrite la comprehension écrite means what that is a written comprehension so written comprehension means so one of the most significant factors for solving the reading comprehension reading comprehension means what they gave some paragraph in that paragraphs they are asking some questions and all so you have to answer like english only so this is the essential skill for the reading comprehension and some tips are there that i'll tell in the next video and with regards to approach you should adopt for the reading comprehension and keep the following points in mind i'll tell the points tips and tricks for the written comprehension so what are the tips for this one first one do not read the passage first and second analyze the text structure text and question structure so first you should read the questions and third one do not memorize you should not memorize the comprehension ecri and fourth you have to make a notes about that paragraph and fifth use content context clues so you have to use some clues and all which is based on the paragraph and sixth opening and closing paragraph require extra focus so for the opening and closing paragraph you should give more extra focus on that so in your first lesson one comprehension acquires there so let's see the ones um lise le texte souvent et répondre à question so let's see the paragraph uh suggest vanakam on tamil vu namaste on hindi vu on sanskrit et utilisé pour montrer le respect à l'autre it means this gesture vanakam in tamil or namaste in hindi or in sanskrit is used to show respect to others and next lejon andian se salion souvent en disant good morning vu hi so the eng people that is a eng indian often greet each other by saying what good morning or hi and in france pu salue on se sare le main e on sombre se vu en fait si de la main it means in france to greet we shake hands and kiss each other or wave hands and on the bonjour vous salue en france and we say good morning hi or hello in france so this is all about the first paragraph that is the comprehension paragraph 
so in that paragraph they some they ask some questions let's see the questions first como es con montro le respect so how do we show respect in india this is the first question and second que disent les jeunes indiens pour saluer so what do an indian say to greet and third como les français se saluent til so how the french people greet each other and fourth is what do the french sorry que disent les français pour saluer so what do the french say to greet so this is all about the four question in that paragraph let's see the answer first question is como es con montre le respect au nord so how do we show respect in india so on nord in india on montre le respect pas un guest vanakam on tamil vu namaste and nindi so it means in india respect is shown by this vanakam in tamil and namaste in hindi and go to the second one que disent les jeunes indiens pour saluer so what do an indian say to greet so les jeunes indiens se saluent souvent en disant good morning vu hi so young indian often to greet each other by saying good morning or hi only and third one como les français se saluent salutent ils so how the french people greet each other so en france pour saluer on se serre la main on s'embrasse vous on fait sand la main so in france to greet we shake hands or kiss or wave hands and fourth que disent les français pour saluer so what do french say to greet so les français disent bonjour vous saluez pour saluer so the french people used to say bonjour or salut for greet so this is all about the comprehension act three which is based on your first lesson so this is all about our today's video sorry one uh, one content is there la redaction third one is redaction redaction means what essay so what is the meaning of essay let's see the definition once a short piece of writing on a particular subject so that is the meaning of essay so in this lesson you have to write a essay which is based on your first lesson topic of bean sware it means a evening party so Avin Swere, let's see the topic ones. Avin Swere, Moron Contre avec Queen Frances. So you have to, uh, sorry, my meeting with your French women. So that is your lesson topic in the evening party. My meeting with your French women. And let's see the resume. So when you are writing a redaction, that is an essay. so you can follow this things and all resume means what summary and in that summary you can use the topics and all what are the topics you are going to write in that uh, essay so first one is introduction introduction is a introduction and second a la soirée at a evening party you are going to talk about the party and next mon ami présente sa cause en français so my friend is presenting cousin the a next conclusion conclusion is here conclusion only so this is all about the resume so first one introduction so that is introduction so what is the introduction just we zale a wings for a je rencontre une française dans cette introduction je vais rencontrer cette expérience so it means i went to an evening party so just we zale on bin sore and she don't contrive in frances i met a french girl dans sa traduction so in this 
essay, Je vais rencontrer cette expérience and I am going to narrate this experience. And second topic is à la soirée. À la soirée means in the evening party. So la soirée commence à l'heure. Il n'y a pas de retard and je, ret je trouve mon ami avec une fille. So it means this function starts on time and il n'y a pas de retard. There is no delay and I find my friend with your girl. So this is all about the second topic à la soirée. And third is mon ami me présente sa cousin français. So my friend introduced me to her French cousin. So elle habite à Paris. So she lives in Paris and je parle avec elle and I speak with her. And to the boat, first of all, en français, in French, je lui demande si elle est français. So it means I ask her if she is French. And oui, mais elle est d'origine pondichérienne. Yes, but she is pondichéry origin. And c'est sa première visite en Nantes. So this is a first visit to India. So what is the conclusion? That is the fourth topic is conclusion. And c'est agréable de rencontrer une française. Et je suis très heureux de lui parler en français. So it's nice to meet a French girl. And I'm very happy to talk, talk to her in French. So this is all about the rédaction. So when you are writing the essay, so you must write the summary. That is resume. In that summary, what you are going to write in that essay, you have to give some topics over there. So this is the some clues when you are writing the essays and all. So this is all about our today's video. So one is la, la second is la comprehension écrit, and third is la rédaction. So this you have to read by yourself only, and you have to understand when you are reading these three things and all, and you have to follow some set of rules also. So and I'll give assessment. And thank you. Merci.